Hi, it's Charlie Minotto with Halfflow.com, and today I'm reviewing this device, which you probably don't know what it's called, except that there's a title, and so you can figure out that it's called the Sensor Push. More specifically, it's the Sensor Push HT1, and it is a Bluetooth hygrometer. So what that means is that it's a hygrometer, it measures relative humidity and temperature, which is something that's important for cigars, uh, and it's Bluetooth. And as you can see, there's no screen, it's quite small, which means that you need to pair it with an app, and it's Sensor Push's app. Uh, which is free and comes available in both iOS and Android variants. And as you can see, there's some graphs and there's some numbers and it's a hygrometer. So the way this works is you set these things up and there's actually a pretty unique process where you, as part of the setup process, it asks you to move the thing around uh, your screen. I found that actually be very helpful if you're pairing multiple of these devices because otherwise you just have a whole bunch of things that are trying to connect to Bluetooth. But the screen process really seemed to sort out which one was which. From there, it recommends that you calibrate the units, which I did, and then you create some profiles. So you can name yours anywhere between the very generic new sensor one or Savoy, which refers to the type of humidor that it actually is in. So you can see that the new sensor one has got a pretty relatively recent, but there's a warning on the Savoy, and that's because that humidor is actually stored at my home. And so I don't have access to it because I'm not in range of my home and because we don't have a Wi-Fi gateway at my house, which I'll get to in a second. But if you click on the Savoy, what you'll see is the readings for the last 24 hours. So sensor push takes a reading every 10 seconds and it records them on the device. So if you're not within Bluetooth range, um, it will download that data uh, it, once you get back into the range and it will store, uh, it says over two weeks, it didn't specify whether that's 14 and a half days or 20 days, but at least two weeks worth of data. What you can see here is that the charts show a wide range, although when you actually look at the data, you'll note that the bottom is 69.4 degrees Fahrenheit and the top is 70.4 and there's a new comment on half wheel. And so while the chart looks big, it's only one degree worth of temperature difference, which isn't too bad given that we're in the middle of August here in Texas. And then if you look down at the humidity, you'll see that it ranged anywhere from 68.7 and to 72. I don't understand what the big red spike was, but you get that sort of data with it. And you can even see further on. So you can click that was day. You can see what it looks like in the grand scheme of the week. So there was just one gigantic spike of humidity that seemed to fit my humidor. You can even see what it looks like over the month and that red spike still remains there. And then over the year, although we haven't been testing the device for a year, so there's not a year's worth of data. So to click on a live device, um, you can click here and we can see what a month long looks like in one of our tower humidors here at the office. Now, sensor push is expensive. These devices are $50, which is at the top end of what you would expect to pay for a Bluetooth hygrometer. But sensor push isn't just a Bluetooth hygrometer because in addition to selling the HT1, there's also this device, which is the G1 Wi-Fi gateway, which I'm gonna now hold in a normal manner. So this is made to go with your router. It has an ethernet port or you can connect it via wireless Wi-Fi. And then it takes uh, all the data off your sensor push devices that are in range of the G1 and collects the data and pushes it to the cloud. It means that you can access the data via the smartphone app as long as you're within our internet connection on your smartphone anywhere in the world. It also means that you could have multiple people log into a UI interface online uh, with the, the account information for the G1. And it means that Brooks and I could both be in different countries, not near the office, and see what the humidity levels are in the office. Now this is a $100 add-on. It doesn't include any of the sensor push devices. And so it's a feature that ends up being very expensive, particularly when you consider that the main competitor to sensor push in the humidor space is this, the Bovina Smart Sensor. This is $20, it doesn't have wireless, it's just Bluetooth. This is $50 for just the Bluetooth function, and this is $100 for just the wireless router or the wireless gateway function. And what that means is that in order, if you had a setup that say was three humidors, you would only spend $60 for Bovina solution, but you would end up spending $250 for, or for the sensor push options, which is a big price to pay for more detailed data more access to data and more data points. But if you're like us or anyone else that's got a humidor collection that rivals a cigar business, or if you are a cigar business, I think sensor push is probably the way to go. You get the ability to see the data anywhere in the world, which is a big thing for me, particularly as someone that travels quite a bit. It also means that you're getting the push notifications. If you tell it that you wanna be alerted whenever the humidor goes above 72% relative humidity, it means that I can be in Germany and I'll get those notifications and then I can email Brooks and tell him to check on a humidor. It means 
that you have more data points than Bovida's option. Sensor push is taking a new data reading every 10 seconds, whereas Bovida's are closer to about once or twice a minute. It also can store more data than the Bovida option can. You get over two weeks worth of data versus just 10 days with the Bovida device, and you always have the Wi-Fi option to, to do it. And that's why, despite the gigantic price difference, I'll probably be spending a few hundred dollars more to buy more sensor push devices in the future. Because for someone that's got tens of thousands of dollars worth of cigars and humidors in various places, a device like this is something that I've really been waiting for. So you can check out my Bovida Smart Sensor review here. You can watch a video up here to figure out if you should buy the sensor push or uh, the Bovida Smart Sensor. And if you want to learn more about hygrometers, Bluetooth or not, humidors or anything else to do with cigars, you can check out halfwheel.com.